computer. Okay, we are recording. Hi, everyone. Welcome. We're getting moving right along because I know everybody has things going on in their life. Um, so I just watched a video from Autumn, and he offered some more great advice about the bloating and gas thing. And some of the suggestions she had were that, number one, if you're taking the performance line and you've never taken the performance line again, that could be something that adds to the bloating and the gas. Um, she said to take a couple days off and then, you know, try it again. And if it, if it's still there, then, you know, you go from there. Number two, pay attention to when you are actually bloated. Are you bloated at the end of the day? Are you bloated right away, right in the beginning of the day? Pay attention. So to log kind of those feelings. Number three, um, because you're eating a lot more protein, sometimes meat-based protein is challenging for people to digest if they're not used to it. So switch to some other proteins, eggs, yogurt, um, fish, uh, salmon. Try different proteins. If Because I think a lot of people are just like, oh, I need more protein. I'll just throw in chicken and steak and you know pork or whatever. Try to add in some different proteins to really see the difference. Um, and then the last thing she mentioned was if you're not, if cooked or uncooked vegetables are hard on your body. Some people they are, some people they aren't. If you notice that it's hard on your body, switch to cooking up your vegetables. Sometimes that's challenging to digest. So those were kind of her tips. Um, she, she developed a lot of allergies later in life and found out that it was that. So if you are someone who's like, man, I still feel awful and I've tried all these things and maybe we're seeing an allergy. She takes some weird digestive enzyme gold. I don't remember what it was called, but either way that she has to take it because she's like refixing her system or something. I don't know. I didn't pay attention to that part because I, well, none of us have those problems. Okay. <laughs> We're all dealing with a change in our diet. Um, I personally, <laughs> personally was having a lot of um, bloating in the beginning. I don't have it anymore. So, but then again, I also got my period. So <laughs> <You know. laughs> It was a I'm really grateful for the opposite. So let's just be real. Yeah. Anyway, okay. and that's all I have to say about yeah. that. I'd say another thing too that I found, I know for me, um, uh, it's really easy for me to eat broccoli. I feel like it tastes really good to me. It's easy for me to cook it. It's like not a lot of prep. Um, and I actually did some research and broccoli can actually make you be bloated and gassy. So like for me, I think that that's like, I have to find a different vegetable. So now like pretty much all I eat are carrots because it's just really easy to not cook them. <laughs> like when you just change your meal prep in the middle of the week. Um, but so yeah, so it might even um, to Autumn's point and as Kim was sharing, it might even just be like a specific thing that like you've just been, if you're eating, I know for me, it's easier to just eat the same things every day so that meal prep is a lot easier. I don't mind eating the same things like multiple days in a row. Um, but that just having, it's like the amount of these different foods that you're eating that could also be causing discomfort and digestion stuff. So that's that. Another thing that we wanted to just, uh, we thought today, what we could do is share just a couple tips. Like for those of us who are um, either starting 80 day obsession for the first time, we have people in these groups who have never gone through a nutrition plan before. We have people in these groups who have been doing it for a long time, but maybe haven't really fully committed start to finish to a program in a long time. So one of the things that I wanted to bring up, because we've been seeing it a lot in our group, so I just want to make sure that all of you guys are aware, if you're doing 80-day obsession, almond milk is not on our food plan. I know that that's different from 21 day fix. That's different from um, the, the fixate. So like any other program where you're using these containers, if you look at the food list for 80 day obsession, if you're looking at the Shakeology bases, which is where usually where almond milk is, unsweetened almond milk is on there and it counts as one of your teaspoons. But Almond milk is not on our plan this time. And so just know that as you're making your Shakeology, um, I, we always encourage you guys to like eat according to your goals. So if you are, but if you are someone who is like had, has this plan where you wanted to commit fully 100% to the 80 day obsession program, I just wanted to make sure that you know going forward um, that almond milk, the regular almond milk is actually not on our plan for this 80 days. So we wanted to share that. Another couple of tips that I wanted to share with you guys, if you're new to the container system and it's starting to feel overwhelming or uh, you're new to uh, working out every day and all of these things, and it can just start to feel really legalistic. It can start to feel like all your whole life is just about rules. 
and all you do is think about like, how many rules you have to follow uh, for these programs, I really want to encourage you guys to uh, show yourself some grace. Just have grace for yourself because even both him and I shared in our groups last night, she had some chocolate at the end of the day. I had too much to eat at dinner. It was just, you know what I mean? Like, and we just have grace for ourselves and we move forward. And I want to encourage you guys to not overcompensate. Like don't because, because I ate too much at dinner last night, that's not changing anything about what I'm eating today. Other than the fact that I'm only eating my containers today and I'm trying to stick as closely as possible to the time frame, right? So don't try to like, like maneuver it. Like oh, I had three carbs yesterday, so I'm only going to have one today. So it just evens it out. Don't do that because every day your body needs that fuel. We're doing some really intense workouts. It doesn't matter if you're doing 21 day fix. It doesn't matter if you're doing 80 day obsession. This is true for whatever program you're doing. Don't try to, it doesn't really like even out that way. Just every day, start with a fresh, clean slate and eat the food that you're supposed to eat that day to fuel your body. Um, because otherwise you can just get into the cycle where then you didn't eat enough today because you were trying to comp and say it for yesterday and so you're really hungry and you're miserable so then maybe you eat more food later or all of these things just add up so just have grace for yourself but then just have the determination to start each day fresh and to continue forward another thing that i wanted to point out is make sure that you're not overfilling your containers make sure that you're filling your containers to the exact amount if you guys would rather use measuring cups we can share a graphic with you guys that has the um how much each container equals in terms of measuring cups if you'd rather if that's easier for you but in terms of in order to just really get the best results from any program you're doing if you're using the fixate container food system make sure that you're not overfilling your containers um, another thing in terms of just making meal prep really simple, I know sometimes we can just get really caught up, right? Like, it's like, oh, I saw this recipe on Pinterest or, oh, I was reading this article and I got lost on the Beachbody blog. I got lost like in the fixate, um, food prep show that's on Beachbody on, on demand. And like, you have all these plans and then like meal prep takes forever. And then you didn't finish. And then you're just like mad because like now you're just frustrated because you didn't actually get to prep everything. Or maybe it was just too much or you spent so much money on food that's now going to go bad and all of that stuff. I would encourage you guys don't wait till the weekend to figure out what you're going to go to the store and buy. You know, like make it simple for you. Like I shared a couple minutes ago, for me, the easiest thing is if I just eat similar foods every day for that week. So in advance, I just kind of know that. So I just set myself up for success in terms of like making it really simple. Some people um, like to have more complicated, like they love cooking, right? Like they love like spending time in the kitchen. Like that's not therapeutic for me. <laughs> <laughs> I cook for fuel. I don't cook because I enjoy the process of that or the process of doing dishes. Um, I'm constantly pretty much every week and weekend going back and forth from San Francisco to San Diego. And so um, for me, simple is better. So whatever it is for you, if making intricate meals works better for you because then you're not bored, you're really excited about what you're eating, do that. If you're not that person, don't do that. So those were just a couple things that just I wanted to share with you guys from based on feedback that I was receiving and reading in the groups about people getting overwhelmed with meal planning, uh, seeing pictures of people with their food containers, realizing that the containers were overfilled before they measured them out. And I wanted to share that tip about almond milk just to put that on your radar. Um, and I'm going to pass it over to Kim because she wants to talk to you. We want to share with you guys a little bit about personal development and why that's so important in your health and fitness journey. Yeah. And just a, just a little touch on what you just said too. Yeah. If you have something that like comes up, like some wild, like a wedding or like, I mean, gosh, you're celebrating your boss's retirement. I don't know. Boss's retirement. <laughs> whatever. Know that. Thank you. Um, know that you celebrate that. Like that's life. It doesn't mean that you need to go like buck wild, but it also means you can save a yellow and maybe you switch up your Friday and your Sunday or whatever the case might be. Um, just don't, I feel like when you limit too much all the time, and I'm not saying every day needs to be 80, 20, but every day, uh, uh, but once a while, like if you look ahead at your calendar and you're like, Oh man, I can't start this program because of this one event. Yeah, they don't even listen to that one right next week. Um, but you can show us our tracks. Um, they, they want, they, you want to be able to, it's sustainable. That's what's so rad about these programs. That's what's so rad about this life is that it's sustainable. It's something you can keep doing. And so I just want to say like grace upon grace, but also at the same time, like life happens, right? Like life does happen. And I find that the more you're like, you know, regimen and, and strict on yourself, the more than you just like go crazy on the weekend and then regret the whole thing. And now you're right back to square one come, you know, Monday morning. So just a little side touch on that. Um, 
And then just as, as far as like, I feel like if you're, if you're going in to this program or any program for that all program life, uh, you, you know, what the coolest is <laughs> life, um, <laughs> the best part, the best thing in my opinion is that you're growing as a person. So throw in a book that's going to push you to just grow and be stronger at, in general. You are going to find that your mind has more to think about when you're working out because you now your, your wheels are spinning after something you read. Um, you're going to find that you have more positivity to bring, um, to offer to your marriage and to your work and to your kids. Um, if you are growing as a person and then you talk, throw in a workout and you start drinking water more often, you are going to notice a changed lifestyle. And that might sound really drastic, but that's like legit For real. what will change your life. And, um, I just think that so often we, we underestimate this, this idea that we've kind of reached our potential of like knowledge and growth and personal, um, you know, performance never like we have sky's the limit. We can become who we want to become and we can constantly be growing. And I think that my favorite part about ever since starting on this whole journey is what it's offered to my family. Ultimately, they're my number one ministry. Um, they're, they are my four most important people in my life. And so anytime I can make sure that I'm becoming better for them is the best thing for me and for them. And so, um, I know that personal development does that for you. So if you're looking, you know, if you don't know what to start reading, um, reach out to one of us. Like we are, we have a list and have been through lots of books. Um, and, and what the cool part about personal development is, is you can just simply say like, I want to grow as like a leader. Okay. Well, let me give you some leaders. I want to grow as a mother. Here's some mother. I want to grow as a entrepreneur. Here's some, you know, whatever I want to, I am, I have really bad self talk or confidence. There is something for seriously everything. And if you're like me and you can't sit down and read a book cause you just don't have the time. Audiobooks work great, especially while you're cooking, <laughs> unless you're not spending the time in the kitchen. So, <laughs> Um, and then just to also add, um, I'm, I'm putting out a new menu this week for the next two weeks and I operate on a two week system. It just works really well. So everything is the same for two weeks and then I switch it up. Dinners, however, change every single day, except well, they for seven days and then they're the same seven days. Um, this keeps my husband int interested. So if you're cooking for more than just yourself, you may, you know, need to keep it spicy. Not literally spicy, just except for James because he does like it spicy. Yeah, <laughs> you have to. Yeah, yeah. So for him, anyway, except yeah. for you. <laughs> uh, I currently actually just went through Body Beast and created a meal plan for him, and I'm like, man, I'm switching to Body Beast next time. He gets like seven yellows a day, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't even know where I'm gonna find these yellows. Like, I'm just like. Here's some bread. Here's a waffle. You want two waffles? Here's two waffles. Like, I'm, it's actually obscene. I think he's going to gain weight, which would be a shocker because the dude just doesn't gain weight. So, yeah. No. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. That's all I had to say about personal development. Um, we are, oh, we're doing really good. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys, um, why don't we open it up? Because for, I know we have a couple of our coaches on this call. And so we have a team call later tonight where we're going to be pouring in specifically to the coaches on our team about business building practices, about all of that stuff. But for this call, just really our heart and our purpose and our passion behind it is to just really start doing weekly calls with everyone who wants to join in from any of our accountability groups who just wants a chance to just think. So maybe you want to, you have a question or maybe you're struggling with something specifically or something is working for you and you're excited about it and want to share it. Um, we'd love to just open this time up to see if you guys have any specific questions or um, any roadblocks. Um, and then if not, I do have a couple more things that I just wanted to share with you guys in terms of empowering you and hopefully exciting you um, to recommit and stay motivated in your journey. You're muted. I'm going to unmute you. There you go. Okay, cool. Um, thanks for sharing you guys. And Kim, um, thanks for sharing your recipes. I was going to see if you would send over, um, cause that's the hardest part for me is just planning. Like once I have a plan, I can go shop, I can cook, but, um, yeah, if we, if, I would love to, to piggyback off of you, um, whatever you're doing for food. Yeah. 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 I will absolutely. I usually put it pretty much everywhere. So it's just anywhere. Okay. Um, but do yeah. You, do you have like the grocery list, like how much you actually buy on there too? Yeah, I okay. Yeah. I, I saw your Excel spreadsheet, which was like the meals, but I, 
I don't know if I had the actual list of like. If you go into my- Tribe Trifecta and you go into the file section, you'll see I have all the groceries oh. and the um, recipes, all that jazz. And I'm actually changing up the two post pre workouts this week, and I'm going to do, um, oh no, just one. Uh, pre and post. I'm going to do um, breakfast fried rice. Oh, um, and I'm really, it looks, it's pretty simple, but it makes like six servings. So you could literally just eat that all week, which might be kind of old, but I figured James and I could kind of share it and then that would be good. So I'm trying to find like things that are bulk that you can make, but are still really good, you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, cause I have this Turkey curry. That's like my most favorite recipe, but I never can eat it cause it has yellows in it. It has potatoes in it. And so I was like, Oh man, I could eat that as a post-workout meal going to be really, yeah. really sweet curry at 9 a.m., but no big deal. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to make that recipe too, and that makes a ton. So then I can- I want that recipe. Yeah. Yeah, it's that like, sounds good. Well, it came up in Shift Shop, and it was like my go-to for everything. So um, yeah, I'll share all those. Perfect. Okay, now I know where to- I just found out about the file thing yesterday, so that- Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's, like, what? <laughs> there's lots in there. There's like- I thought you had to like scroll through things to find- <laughs> No. Yeah, she was like, do I have to scroll through the whole page? I was like, no, no, go to the file section. Um, so really quick, Katie, do you want to share with everyone so far your results from 80 day obsession, please? Like, can we all just celebrate with you? So yeah, I, I technically it's since I started a little obsessed, so it's probably like two or three weeks, so a little longer than 11 days, but I've lost eight eight pounds, which is insane because a, I didn't even, that wasn't even like my goal. Um, but so eight pounds, but I also got a scale that Christina and I both got, which kind of tells you body fat and muscle. <laughs> so I've lost, I can't see her face. I did. She like gave you like, she pointed at you and she's like nodding her head. She's excited. Uh, <laughs> I lost a, a per, percent of, um, fat versus muscle. So I gained a, a 1% muscle and lost 1% fat, which is just oh. so cool. And so even though like this, I think the scale is, can be so lame and usually I never focus on that, but. Um, I love knowing that I'm getting toned and I, you guys are my goals. So, <laughs> Well, and two, one of the things too, that's just so amazing is that Katie was sharing with me that she has never in her life, like followed a nutrition plan or like, a, you know, <laughs> so like, this has just been like really big for her, just even in terms of like the mental battle of like, no, I can't eat that because I, I have no more like food in my day, or I can't have that ice cream because you know, it's not on my plan right now. So Katie, I'm so excited for you. And I just love how you're sharing your uh, workouts and your stories. And i um, really excited that you're seeing such great results too. I didn't know you could get free from sugar addiction. Honestly, <laughs> I've literally eaten sugar like every day for my entire life. Like I don't, this is amazing guys. 11 days. No sugar. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that I was on that bandwagon. I wanted, I want to be on that bandwagon, but like there somehow ends up sweetener in my life. It, it, comes, well, it hides, it hides. I won't lie. I did tell Christina, my accountability partner that I, I get honey roasted peanut butter. So I do get my teaspoon that I like lick the inside of the, <laughs> literally it's insane. I'm like, this is my sugar. <laughs> I mean, does honey count? Cause like, I mean, technically, oh. you do, like you're not, it's like on, not on our plan. Cause it's like the added sweetener, but yeah, I think in that scenario, like, honestly, like we were saying earlier, like just eat and drink according to your goals. Right. Like none of us, you know, right. we're not like training for like a fitness competition at the end of this. Yeah. No, mine is the creamer and the coffee. That's yeah. my, that is my hard part. I, I just stopped drinking coffee, which is amazing. I don't know how. And I do drink it black. Um, yeah. Well, one day. Goals. <laughs> <laughs> we can all just keep inspiring each other to want to be like each other. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Kim's abs. So they abs. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we can all have Kim's abs. You can have my have- black and I'll take your abs. Yeah. Okay. Kim, do you have two different color nail polishes? Like, did you paint one <laughs> hand? <laughs> Can we talk about the purple and the pink? <laughs> oh, oh, it's lighting a cream behind uh, No, it's called, uh, you know, I'm getting there. I am close. I'm By close. our team call tonight, are you going to have both purple? Like, at some yes. point. Oh, you're gonna I keep waiting for throw up. So I'm like, I can't, I don't want to like paint my nails in case I have to like clean up. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what's happening. <laughs> oh, being a mom. Mom life, mom life at its finest. Yeah, being a mom. Um, okay. So we have 10 minutes left. 
Does anyone have anything else like that you wanted to ask about or um, share with us? I do have one more thing to share too. Um, yeah. I know you have a question, Britt. Yeah. Oh, there's a mini question or something? No? Uh, um, was, I was gonna share the, so the importance of water, obviously we all talk yeah. about water, water, water. Um, however, maybe you didn't know, or maybe you did know, um, but I kind of became a little obsessed with, um, well, I'm a little obsessed with Tony Robbins. I don't know if you knew that about me, but now you do. Um, anyway, a while back, he, like years ago, developed, ba or basically became obsessed with learning about why bodies need to be alkalined and how that is a lot of the reason why people don't lose weight. And because here's what happens. So if your body is acidic, even if you're like, skin and bones, which is why a lot of people who are really, really like who, um, who have really acidic bodies, cancers form and sickness forms because they don't have a lot of fat protecting your organs. So when you are, when you are losing weight or wait, I'm sorry, when your body is really acidic and you're working out and you're not hydrating, your the acid begins to, I'm sorry, the fat begins to to almost like hold on for dear life around your organs because it's protecting it, right? Because it doesn't want the acid to break down your organs. So therefore holding on to fat for dear life because it, it needs it to protect it. So if you're not fueling your body with high, like that's why a lot of times you see fitness professionals who aren't very much in shape because their body is holding on to fat because they're probably not hydrating enough. So that's why hydration is so, so important. And anytime you can add in anything that's going to be counter, um, that's going to help you alkaline your body. So like lemon, um, there's lots of different foods you can put. Okay, let's not do that one. Um, anytime you can put lemon in your water or something that's going to help you to be less acidic, the better. So I just want to encourage you that when you're working out and after workout, like the, it's so important to get in that at least half your Carter, but no, 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 um, is that that's why it's so, so essential to get your water in and at least half your ounces. In, and if you can try to do that by halfway through your day, anything after that is just extra. It's just going to help you get keep your body protected, keep you from plateauing and keep you moving forward in your fitness goals. So I just kind of want to say that because I think that that doesn't hit home enough for people that that's the importance of water. Not because you want, I mean, yes, hydration is key and that goes into your cells and it goes into your skin and it goes into your everything. But if you are not seeing weight loss and that is your ultimate goal, I challenge you to you can even get the strips that check your, the acidity in your, in your um, pee, yes. But you can actually check to see how acidic your body is. And if you're operating super acidic, you're darn right your body's not going to lose any weight. So just thought I would share that. A little fun fact. I love that. I actually didn't know that about the um, being acidic. I knew that it was, like, important for all of the reasons we normally know about. Um, still, but that's awesome. Yeah. Um, one more thing I wanted to share with you guys is just, and we talk about this a lot, but I think that part of what's so important, and this is kind of what Kim was talking about as well in terms of personal development, is just like your mindset about committing fully to a workout nutrition program and about this lifestyle. Because I think for so long, I was stuck in this vicious cycle where I was so strict that I couldn't actually maintain it. Um, and then I kept failing. And then I didn't want to tell people that I had started again because I was so tired of being that person that just kept failing. So I just didn't want to talk about it at all. And then I started to kind of be committed again, but still I just wanted to keep it like this secret. And then I felt weird going out to like social events with people because I was like, felt like nervous because I was going to eat differently. What would that make them think of me? And now I'm committed to this program. And are they going to be like, why are you committed to that program? Or what are they going to think about doing home workouts? And we start getting so caught up in all of this stuff. And I just want to empower you and encourage you um, to, to just like let all of that go. Um, to let go, like you have the right to change at any point in your life. You don't have to be the same person that you've been before. You don't have to be the person that quits all the time. You don't have to be the person um, that struggled with their eating anymore. You can be the person who establishes a healthy lifestyle, who is, uh, lives a balanced lifestyle, who found freedom in her health and fitness journey, because this is something that you're looking at, few, at food as fuel. You celebrate on special occasions and then get back on track just fueling your body. You are the, a girl who is empowering other people to do that too. And I think sometimes we get so caught up in what are other people going to 
think about us. And like the reality is they're not even really thinking about us that much, right? <laughs> like they don't actually care what we're doing. Right? <laughs> like, and even if they do, they're not the person living in your body. They're not the person who wakes up every day and has your energy level or uh, has the impact, like either feels uncomfortable in their clothes or feels comfortable in their clothes. You're the person who lives in your body. And so you should treat your body how you want to treat your body. And if you're going all in and you're really committing to a nutrition program and a workout program for this period of time, um, do so. And you can encourage other women around you. I think sometimes we start to like, I know Katie went to a bachelorette party last weekend, like that or two weeks ago. Like, how crazy is that? Like, how are you going to stick to 80 day obsession? And so we kind of talked about that. And I know for me, like Kim and I were at a baby shower last weekend and it's like, how do you stay on track? And is this going to be weird? And the reality is, is like, we just decided in advance, that this is what we're doing. And if it comes up in conversation, we're not trying to shame anyone else or make anyone else feel bad for what they are eating. And we're also not going to feel bad about what we're not eating because we've committed to this program. And I just want to encourage and empower you guys to share about it. Like I love Anna. I see Anna's on this call and she's been sharing her journey on her Instagram stories. And number one, Anna, your, your smile is so contagious. I know I say this like every time in all of your pictures, um, but just uh, sharing your journey with people. Like you don't have to be a coach to be sharing it, right? Like you don't have to be trying to sell anything to share something that you love. You love it, so share it with people. And not only is it gonna help you stay more accountable that other people are, know about it, um, but let them celebrate with you. You can tell your family that you want their support. You can tell your significant other that this is something you're gonna commit to and you just want them to encourage you through it. You know, like you don't have to have all the answers about how this all works, right? Like, <laughs> and yeah, some people are gonna say, oh, it sounds crazy, that's really strange. Like, I don't understand time to nutrition. I don't understand. You don't need to lose weight. You don't need to be doing this. Why are you doing that? You don't have, all, have to have all the answers other than deciding that you want to take care of yourself, that you want to feel great. You just want to see what would happen if you actually committed to time to nutrition. Uh, you just wanted to see what would happen if you committed to an 80-day program, a 21-day program, any program, right? And so just know, um, I just want to empower and encourage you to make choices for your body based on how you want your body to feel. And don't worry about how other people are going to react to it. Don't worry about if you've never completed a program before. Just continue to visualize what you want to feel like at the end of your program, what you want to feel like in life, and then just make daily choices to like what you need to do to become that person and to feel that way. So that was just one more thing that I wanted to encourage you guys and empower you about. Um, and then one thing too, that's really been on my heart this week, uh, or actually the past couple weeks since starting this program is like the importance of taking responsibility for your actions, right? Like for me, um, it used to be really easy to blame like, well, I'm just so busy. Like I can't do this or, Oh, like I have roommates and they're not on the plan with me. Or it's really hard for me to stick to this because they, they aren't on this workout program or, um, I'm not succeeding at my job because of this person, or I'm not, I'm not advancing in my job because of that, or my online business isn't growing because of this. And the reality is I think that one of the most freeing things I've done is start taking responsibility for everything that happens in my life. Like it's my choice. It's, it's my choice how I take care of my body. It's my choice what I fuel my body with. It's my choice if I stay at a job where there's no growth potential or like five months ago jumped and started a new job, which is scary. It's my choice if my online business grows or not, if I use the resources I have or not. It's my choice, um, all of this stuff. And it doesn't matter like, <laughs> if anyone else committed to this program with you. Um, you can take responsibility for your own actions. And that's kind of scary and overwhelming, but at the same time, really freeing to know that it's in your control to be successful at whatever you want to be successful at. So I just wanted to share that with you guys too, because that's been something that's really been on my mind and on my heart um, as I've been committing to this program after, for, after five months, feeling like blaming everyone and everything for why I was so busy and couldn't really commit to a program. So I wanted to share that too. Yeah, no, I think that's huge. I think that we, we decide what ultimately we, what thoughts come out, what thoughts go in, what different factors affect us. Um, we're the excuse. We, we control all of what happens or doesn't happen in our lives. And I love watching Anna's. I love watching your Insta stories. Um, Courtney, who's also on this call, we can't see her, but she's been sharing every day. And, um, obviously the other four of you are because you're coaches. So <laughs> hope you're <laughs> <laughs> vital behavior number one. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but for real though, I think that it's, you want to know the coolest part about, and, and Anna and Courtney, since you're on this call, I'm going to use you an example, but one of the best accountabilities is sharing your journey because how like weird to be like every day here I am. And then one day you're just like, eh, whatever. Like it's, <laughs> 
feel like it's the best. It's, um, it's just one of those things that like, I don't know, you get to, you, it's, it, it just keeps you moving forward in your own journey. And it's like a selfish, unselfish thing because in doing so, you probably encourage people you don't even know, but at the same time, it keeps you moving towards your goals. And so I just want to encourage you to keep going because it's, um, and for those that like ever wonder, like, I mean, I know, um, Brittany has a girl, uh, one of her friends who just started a private group and she's just sharing every single day. And it's because she knows it keeps her accountable. So, um, I just encourage you just to keep moving, keep doing the things that make you, you know, that are going to keep you moving towards your goals and don't let anything get in your way. Um, life's too darn short to just like kind of live like for real. Like if you can't live life on purpose, I don't know what else you can do, but one day you'll look back and you will regret not living life to the fullest. And so I'm about to make a huge decision that I didn't think would happen, but I think because I've been so intentional about a lot of things in life, it, it's bringing up new stuff. And, and I love it. I love it. It's uncomfortable, but I'm like, okay, okay. You know? So, um, I think that's the cool stuff. That's when the magic happens. So I know it's 12 30. Yeah. I have to go to a meeting time. Yeah. Um, but thanks you guys. This was so great. And, um, you. you're welcome. And for those that are just catching the, the, the recording of this, if you have questions, just post in the comments and we will be sure to answer anything you guys have. And next week we'll be on at 6 30 PM. So put that on your calendars. Um, Pacific standard time, Pacific standard time. <clears throat> okay. Go PC, you guys. Um, if you, if you um, bring your questions then, and if obviously if you have anything between now and then. We're Thanks, here. guys. You're yeah. awesome. Oh, you are too. Bye, you guys. Thanks for joining us live. Bye.